What's up guys, I apologize for that interruption. I had a customer show up and I had the joy of wearing a Space Jam tie while it was here. That's a little short because I'm trying to tie it on camera. Anyways, I hope that wasn't too annoying cutting out the video. So back to the white whale items. Maybe I'll go back and merge this into one video at some point if I can download them. I have no idea. I'll allow some people to quick come back while I talk about some of my holy grail items. I completely lost my train of thought where I was, but you know, Villaware is another good holy grail item. I keep saying holy grail, I mean white whale. Villaware are great is a great brand to sell online, but you don't find them very often. But the biggest one for me that I just, it baffles me how people are always finding, I'm always seeing people post this. Craig in the green room just recently sold one for $200 on Amazon, and I keep seeing people post this. And this is not an item you would typically find. So I'm gonna wait, we've got eight people in here, hopefully some annoyed people that the video ended will come back. But I'm gonna show you what this whole uh, white whale item is. I finally found it. It's an item that, I don't know why people keep finding them, but they do. And it's something you can get for a couple of dollars and sell for hundreds. It's awesome. So I got 12 people and I've got nothing else left to say to kind of drag it on. But anyways, the Scrubbing Bubbles Shower Cleaner. This one actually looks like the box was open, but everything inside, you know, the bottle's full, the factory tape is still on here inside. If I was selling this on Amazon, well, I couldn't because you'd have to sell it used. But on Amazon, let's look it up. I have not looked this up on Amazon or eBay yet. I don't know if there are different models or what. Let me scan it. Don't you hate when they cross out the barcode? You have to line up the camera just right. There we go. This Scrubbing Bubbles Cleaner on Amazon, new, you get $182 after fee. Let me flip it around so you can see it. $182 after fees, decent rank. It's health and personal care, so you cannot sell it used. If I click that, you can only sell it new. So that's Amazon. I'm not selling it on Amazon, A, because I can't since it's been open, and B, because I'm not selling this type of stuff on Amazon anymore. So let's look it up on eBay. Scrubbing, bubbles, automatic shower cleaner, sold. It is selling for not quite as much, about a hundred bucks. Here's one that sold, there's the exact same model. Let me flip this around again. So we're seeing something kind of different for 70, 72, that one's open, 99, 88. This is the exact same model I have, 200. This is, I think that's the same model, 85, 134, that's the same model I have, 105, no, that one's a little different as far as package design. So I would say confidently that I would probably get at least a hundred bucks for this thing. I paid four dollars for it and it was actually quite lucky. I went to the store, it's a cash only thrift store and I only had five bucks in my pocket and a couple of minutes of time and I found that item. It cost me four dollars and I believe 20 cents after tax. Great find. That is one of my white whale items that I have never been able to find and like this is an item who buys this and doesn't use this? I'm sure it happens from time to time, but how are people finding so many of these in the thrift stores? So look out for the scrubbing bubbles, automatic shower cleaners. Uh, you say, I can sell that new with my brand new account, Knight says. Yeah, it's not a restricted item. I could sell it new on my account. This particular item is opened, so I can't, according to Amazon's terms of service, I cannot call this new. And you can't sell in that category used, nobody can. Um, so yes, I could, if it was sealed, I could sell it on Amazon. I'm just choosing not to because I'm not selling stuff on Amazon unless I'm authorized by the brand. And I don't think Johnson & Johnson would authorize me to sell a product that they don't even make anymore. I don't know, but not something I'm doing. Uh, Barry Worth, my white whale is an honest YouTuber. Well, you found one. I try to be as honest as possible. Uh, I was at the college picker I just saw commenting. Definitely check out his videos. I talked about him before. My two favorite YouTubers and really the only resale related YouTubers that I watch much anymore are the college picker and Craigslist hunter. So those my two favorite channels. Check those out. Discontinued stuff goes for great online. I sold a black and decker can opener at auction uh, for 110. Yeah, those can openers those go for 
a lot of money. I've sold them for as much as $200 brand new and as little as $30 used. Um, they really fluctuate depending on which model you have, but those Black & Decker can openers, really good money. Anything that's discontinued, you know, people want them. So if you see something that's discontinued, it's probably worth money. I actually found, and this was recorded in one of my videos, I don't know if I post, ever posted it or not, but these little filters for water bottles, they're like that big, about the size of a half dollar. Uh, three of them in a pack. Original retail is probably like $4.99. I sold them for $50 each because they were discontinued. A three pack of these little single use filters for a water bottle. Uh, you know, a lot of random things. I've sold dental floss, like one pack of dental floss for like 30, 40 bucks. I've sold Tums. I think it was two packs of Tums, just little you know, pack Tic Tac sized boxes of Tums for I think 80 bucks for a two pack before. I actually had those shipped to me when I was in Vegas at a friend of mine's house, Jason, in the green room, and he gave them to me when they were shipped to him and he was in disbelief that they would sell for that much. He didn't believe me, and they did. A lot of them got returned, but they weren't even open, so I was able to resell them. Uh, sorry, everyone in my videos are actors, Knight says. Um, Knight says everyone in his videos are actors, so he's not an honest YouTuber, so don't watch him. I'm kidding. Although I've never met Knight Requirefield, is that how you pronounce your name? In person. Seems like a nice guy. We chat on Facebook and the green room and whatnot. So he's got a YouTube channel also where people keep trying to open his brand new items that he sells on Craigslist interesting so that's about all I've got um, one more thing I'm gonna leave you with and hopefully I don't have another customer come in while I'm talking uh, I was talking to somebody in Oregon I'm not gonna name names I'm sure you're watching and we were talking about goodwill prices and whatnot a friend of mine is in Oregon right now thrifting and said uh, sent me a picture of a wall of VCRs he said there's probably a thousand dollars profit here and he couldn't buy it because he was flying but anyways, I was talking to the guy who lived in Oregon and he said it's just not worth it anymore. There's, there's, or I don't know if he said it's not worth it, but he was saying that you can't make a lot of money because Goodwill is really raising their prices. But you know what? Even a $20 VCR, if it's selling for 80, that's good in my book. You're just spending a little more. It's a little harder, but it can be done. But it sounds like somebody is outside, so I'm gonna end this right here. Comment below your white whale item that you've never been able to find and I will see you later.